It's safe to come out now, sweetie, Dad said reassuringly, his blue eyes shining at me through the gap in the bedroom door. He's been saying that for hours, but it doesn't change the fact that my dad's eyes are green. Officer, I just looked away for a second and my baby was gone. I sobbed helplessly. That's better. I sounded much more convincing this time, I thought, with a smile as I finally picked up the phone to call the police. My wife woke me up last night to tell me that there's an intruder in our house. She was murdered by an intruder two years ago. There's nothing like the laughter of a baby, unless it's 1am and you're home alone. Oh, hey. Hell no. My friends say I talk to the floor a lot. I can't help it if the people stuck in the basement need someone to talk to. I accidentally brought my work home with me today. That is not good when you're an exorcist. Bitch, what? Mm -mm. No, freak that, that's so scary. You're laying in bed and your feet are dangling out of the covers. What are you, a psycho? You feel a hand grab your feet. No. That's my biggest fear, but not because like, okay, first of all, yeah, it's scary. But second, I feel like it would be worse if it was tickling my feet because I hate being tickled and I'm so ticklish. Oh my God. I just told the ghost in my place that I'm ticklish for my feet. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not ticklish. I had always wondered why my cat cried when I left her alone at night. The night after we buried her, I woke up to the sensation of someone stroking my hair and a rough voice close to my ear whispering, Good kitty. Ew. No. 